morning guys and welcome back to the channel so for today street photography episode i'm here with the fujifilm xt1 together with the fujinon aspherica 23 millimeter f2 original fujifilm lens I have this camera for a while honestly but uh, I didn't really shoot with that too much. The main reason is that uh, having the X-H1 I used to prefer that one uh, in terms of ergonomics and size uh, as well as uh, quality because it's a newer camera to the X-T1. The main reason why I had this uh, was because uh, I could attach to one of that adapter that allows you to compose uh, the photo and stitch all of them together in order to get uh, a high resolution one. But I decided, uh, okay, I'm continuing doing this kind of series where I take uh, old cameras and going around and uh, so today is the day of the XD. One. The camera is extremely uh, comfortable, it has uh, a good size, as you remember in my previous video one of my main concerns was how my hand, this really big one, could fit around the camera and uh, the grip and the size of the camera itself in my opinion is really good. Uh, also one of the things that uh, I appreciate uh, is that uh, the camera can easily be used with the viewfinder as well as the uh, tiltable screen. So you have all the options uh, available for you. And even in pretty bright light, uh, you are not always forced to use uh, just the viewfinder, this really great one. Uh, it's electronic, but uh, the screen itself, uh, uh, it's pretty easy to look through that, uh, it's easy to focus uh, both with automatic lens like this one or a manual lens one. One of the nice points of the Fujifilm cameras are the receipts. That means you can uh, add to the already pretty good number of film simulation new one mixing the settings inside the camera. Now this is an old camera so it's limited uh, in a certain way to the number of options that you can uh, uh, change but newer cameras of course will allow you to uh, change more settings and get closer to some famous uh, uh, films that uh, were available and not available anymore or are still available. So it's pretty fun to play with that uh, and uh, again come out with some uh, style that uh, can let you appreciate the digital camera like the Fujifilm X series. The X-T1 uh, despite again being an old camera it's uh, extremely easy uh, to use it's pretty fast on focus inside uh, at all the buttons that you need here on top so uh, you can change the settings uh, uh, quickly to adapt to the situation that you have in front of you. Uh, the quality of the picture, the JPEG coming out from the uh, X series cameras uh, are known to be extremely good. And again, as I mentioned before, with this new uh, recipe that you can uh, you can add, uh, you will be able to add that additional. Uh, color that additional rendering that can match your style as well. There are tons of review of this camera uh, online already so I'm not adding uh, anything more than just my own opinion. I really like it and uh, I'm happy that I was able to rediscover a camera uh, like this uh, just to demonstrate uh, how we are not really in need to purchase uh, new cameras because the old ones still uh, have a lot to, uh, to offer nowadays. Does it mean that I want to buy more old cameras? Mosquito. Yes, of course, but uh, I have to limit. So uh, for now, I keep enjoying with the digital cameras that I have and uh, I will keep presenting to you 
in uh, uh, in this channel. Well, that's all for me for today. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the pictures. I use uh, a couple of recipes that I have found online. And again, try to adapt uh, uh, to the limitation that the settings of this camera uh, can offer. Let me know in the comments below if you have one of these, the XT1, or uh, if your preferred uh, Fujifilm camera is another one. And in case you're using uh, one of these recipes, which one is the one that you like? the most. That's all for me for today and as usual, till next time, stay click. Bye!